girl be Her eyes are open wide And yet she's in a daydream That's better than real life She knows the secret country Where the grown-ups never go Why, she's Alice, Alice in Wonderland Alice, Alice in Wonderland Curious friends and happy adventures too Ooh, Yes, she's Alice, Alice in Wonderland Alice, Alice in Wonderland Alice, wait for us, we'll come to you talk like that? That's the way I feel, Mummy. I'll never ever be able to play the piano. That's right. You'll never be able to unless you practice. Listen to Albert. He practices three hours a day. He plays well. Mm-hmm. You don't have to practice as much as he does, but he is an example of what you can do if you practice. But Albert's talented and he loves music. He wants to become a conductor. That's the last thing in the world I'd want to be. You can't compare me with Albert. No, that's true. You're both talented, but he's hardworking and you're lazy. Unless you practice, you'll never be good at anything, Alice. Practice makes perfect. You have to go on and on practicing. Oh, well. Albert is very musical, I must admit, but I'm afraid music isn't for me. Oh. That's terrible. You're really the worst flautist in the world. Why didn't you become a painter or a ballet dancer instead? If you absolutely insist on doing something in the artistic field, then at least choose something which has oh. nothing to do with music. Nobody's born a genius. It takes a lot of hard work. All he needs is a little more practice. That's nice of you to say so, but it isn't true. I'm afraid I must agree with Humpty Dumpty. I've got no talent. What I should do, really, is throw my flute away. I know exactly how you feel, and I sympathise with you. Something like that happened to me today, and I nearly gave up. But someone helped me. I was encouraged to carry on. You see, I'm learning to play the piano, but I'm finding it very difficult to practice. If you didn't give up, then I won't either. You know what they say, practice makes perfect. Who are you, anyway? I'm Alice, don't you remember? Of course I remember you. How could I forget you? You are the absolute idiot who told that boy not to give up. And, of course, that silly idiot hasn't stopped playing since. Hmm? <gasps> Good morning, Mr White Rabbit. Hello, Uncle. You'll have to speak louder, I'm afraid. I can't hear you. I've switched my ears off. Switched them off? Oh, you can hear me perfectly well. You just don't want to. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Are you angry with us? I'm angry with that ridiculous youth who calls himself Guardian of the Trees. He hasn't stopped playing his flute day and night for an entire week now. It sounds awful and it's driving me mad. It can't be that bad. Aren't you exaggerating? What? I said, aren't you exaggerating a bit? 
It's no use. He's not listening to me. We can't put <gasps> up with this anymore. Every single note he plays is wrong. He has no talent whatsoever. And, and don't, don't think, think we, we don't, don't know who's responsible for what we're suffering. They mean you, Alice. You must say you're sorry. Say I'm sorry? Why should I? Because you persuaded him not to give up playing that dreadful flute. Stupid child. You've got to tell him whether you like it or not. Nobody gets a wink of sleep and they've all got headaches. It'll upset him terribly and I don't want to do that. Couldn't we rather wait till tomorrow? Alice, you're behaving like a coward. Oh, I see you didn't give up. You've really been practising. Yes. Hello. I'm not good enough yet, I know, but I'm making progress. What do you think of my playing? Uh, um, I thought it sounded very nice. That's good. I've got you to thank for everything. I'm sorry to disturb you like this, but I've got to talk to you about something. Oh, you mean you know already? What? Yes, the Queen of Hearts has invited me to give a flute concert to everyone at the castle. Oh. Uh... I thank you for this wonderful chance I've been given. If you hadn't have encouraged me, I'd have given up long ago. I'll be grateful to you for ever and ever. Hmm. Naturally, I want you and Benny Bunny to come and listen to me play. Promise me that you'll come. Yes, thank you. And let's hope everything goes well. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I went to a concert, the pianist jammed his fingers under the cover of the grand piano. Look at that. Every single one of them complained about him practicing, and now they've all come to hear him play. Good evening. Kindly take your seats. The concert is about to begin. May I have your attention, ladies and gentlemen? It is my great honor to introduce your soloist, the guardian of the trees. Quiet, it's beginning. And about time. Hmm. They didn't tell me your name, little man. Introduce oh. yourself, will you? I can't remember anything. <laughs> How sweet. He can't even remember his own name. <laughs> <laughs> he's only got stage fright. Stage fright? I'd say he's frightened half to death. Well, that's all right. But I hope at least you'll be able to tell us what you're going to play for us. I don't know. Nobody can be that stupid. Don't try and make fun of me. What are you going to play? I can't remember. Well, then you better sit down and play whatever you can remember before you lose your head. <laughs> You're making a total fool of yourself. Are you going to play? I can't. It won't come. Yes, it will. You have to really want to. Try to play better than you've ever played before and it'll come. Don't you remember I told you I know exactly how you feel? Uh. I really do sympathise with you because I know exactly how you're feeling. Yes! Mm-hmm. Well, now, a nice cup of tea, anyone? I think I could manage a cup. A pleasure. There, Your Majesty. Oh. Mm. We can't hear what the musician is playing. If she wants to cry, she's allowed to cry. Don't you shout at me. May we have silence, please? <clears throat> Who told you to stop? Play continue. But that's the end, you see. Then play something else. That's the only piece of music I know. Then you'd better make up something fast. No, I can't. Well, you're a brave fellow. Your attention, everyone! This concert is cancelled! Oh! Hey, pull this curtain up at once! Your Majesty, the Guardian of the Trees, he's disappeared. Do you know where he could have gone? No, I don't know where he could have gone. And I don't care either. Never heard anyone play so badly. And what's more, because he's made me look so foolish, he's banished. Ah! Oh. Did you hear 
of that? Don't worry, it's only an owl. It sounds about as awful as the noise made by our friend, the guardian of the trees. I heard that. I've got good ears. Now, there's something I don't understand. What was the point of insulting me like that? What do you mean, insulting you? He said that my beautiful owl song was like the dreadful noise made by that ruffian. Ever since I heard him try to play, I've been in a state of shock. We're trying to find him. Do you have any idea where he could be? He went into the forest, crossed the river, and then in the direction of the blasted heath. Are you sure you're not mistaken? Why go to the blasted heath? No one goes there on purpose. It's all my fault. If I hadn't got involved and encouraged him, he'd probably have given up playing the flute long ago, and then he wouldn't have been embarrassed and run away. Uh, so now it's my responsibility to uh, find him and bring him back. I don't want to go there. I said I don't want to don't go. Don't be scared. for a boy carrying a flute. Have you seen him? <gasps> comes, 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 comes. He went off towards the black swamp. Would you mind taking us there? We don't know how to find it. Come, come, comes. I hope his reaction makes you change your mind, Alice. Anyone with a brain in his head doesn't go near the black swamp. Stop trying to talk me out of it. I know what I have to do. <sighs> Save him. Besides, I'm not at all scared. Huh? I'm perfectly 
perfectly happy here where I am. You may find that surprising, but it's true. The snakes don't mind at all that I only play the same song over and over. They don't even care whether I play it well or not. And for the first time in my life, I'm fulfilled. And I'm appreciated. Oh. I understand. You make them happy with your music. And because they're happy, you're happy, right? Mm hmm That's right. with his snakes in the black swamp of waves. Yes, unless his snakes fell so much in love with him they decided to eat him up. Benny Bunny. Huh? Oh, we've got troubles. Oh, such big troubles. The biggest troubles in What's the world. What's the matter? Oh, Why trouble? are you so excited? Oh, oh, the Jabberwock has gone crazy. If he carries on with what he's doing, he's going to destroy the whole of Wonderland. Oh. What's the Jabberwock oh. doing? Oh. broken down. Mm. Tell me who he was, the criminal. It was the Jabberwocky, but I don't understand why. He can't be allowed to get away with this. He must be stopped, otherwise he'll destroy the whole of Wonderland. That's right. That's exactly what your uncle was saying, Benny Bunny. I wonder what could have got into the Jabberwocky. I've never seen him behave like this before. Stop worrying about the Jabberwocky and start worrying about the rest of Wonderland. I yes. know. You do, do you? What do you know? I think I know how we can stop the Jabberwocky from destroying the rest of Wonderland. Bye-bye. Where are you going? Come back here at once. I'm in great danger. You can't leave me here in my hour of need. Whatever you like. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, since this place has been in such a mess. Oh. In fact, not since our first matter to fight. Oh, my oh. darling, for how long are you going to reproach me for that? As long as I live, that's how long. Oh. Jabberwocky, come out here at once. Show yourself. With pleasure. Oh. Oh. You're destroying the whole of Wonderland. And I won't have it. Huh. Too bad, Your Majesty. Oh. Oh. I'm pleased to see you're scared of me. I will destroy the whole of Wonderland. When I finish, there'll be a pile of rubble. Huh? I've had to put up with your rude, arrogant ways for too long, and now it's enough. Jabberwocky! Yes? I've brought along a most wonderful surprise for you, Jabberwocky. Maestro, if you please. <laughs> Maestro? That sounds nice. I like it much better than just being called that young man. May we hear your most beautiful melody, please? Yes, certainly. <sighs> Are you 
trying to put me to sleep? Is this some kind of trick? Oh. Please don't interrupt while he's playing. Hmm. Well, it certainly is a very lovely melody. It's been ages since my heart has been stirred like this. Hmm. Hmm. snarling wolf and the next he's as docile as a lamb. I'll never understand this Jabberwocky. Do oh. never come back, Jabberwocky! But Your Majesty, there's no point in getting upset about the Jabberwocky. It's the same with liking somebody's music. Either you like his music as I do or you don't and that's all there is to it. Yes, that's exactly what I say. Huh? Good day. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Will you please do us a favour and stop that dreadful noise immediately? But why, Your Majesty? Just because you don't happen to like my music? I won't stand any impudence from anybody, and especially not from you. I've had enough of your impertinence. Oh, no, just wait, my friend! <laughs> Come down from this hole of you! Come down at once! <laughs> Alice? Why are you yes. laughing, Alice? Was what Father said that funny? Uh, oh, no, Mummy. I'm not laughing at Daddy. I'm laughing at the Jabberwocky. <laughs> Stop that, Benny Bunny. We've had enough trouble with untalented musicians. What happened to us in Wonderland because of them should last us a lifetime, don't you think? Oh, by the way, Daddy, you said yes. practice makes perfect. Does that yeah. only apply to musicians or to those who have to listen to them as well? Ah. Oh. <laughs> Next time we go to Wonderland, you'll see some strange adventures Alice has with elephants and honey. Alice has to do a project at school about bees, and she explores the subject in such detail and with such enthusiasm that she finally asks herself the question, if bees can make honey, why can't elephants? It isn't long before she meets the Queen of the Elephants, who at first has quite a frightening effect on her. But Alice soon learns that she is a very dear and helpful person. In fact, she's even prepared to save her deadly enemy, the Queen of Hearts, from drowning in a pool of mud. But you'll have to wait till next time to see what happens. Girl B, her eyes are open wide, and yet she's in a daydream that's better than real life. She knows the secret.